Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how you can search and highlight a text using JavaScript. We are going to use this library mark.js. It works with the plain JavaScript as well as with the jQuery. You just need to download this from this link. Let me show it to you here. You can download it manually or you can go with the CDN part. Also have a look over this page because it got a couple of options. For example, these are the options which you can utilize. I will cover only the basic part here. So let's go for it. First of all, we need to create an index file. Let's go to code editor. Create an index file here. A basic HTML structure and a link to a style sheet. We also need a script file later. So it will be script.js. Also copy the link of the CDN where it was. It was there. Just Open it in a new tab and this is the one you need just copy it and paste it here so here we need an input element just remove it also we need one paragraph element it will have some dummy text save it now let's create a style sheet here Select the body element, the display will be flex, flex direction will be column, align items will be center, select the input element, padding will be 10 pixels, width will be around 200 pixels, font size will be 20 pixels, select the paragraph element, on size will be 20 pixels width will be around 500 pixels just save it open this file in the browser just to see the layout i think we can have a placeholder here let's make it type here save it now let's work on the script file create a script.js here select the input element as well as the paragraph element so let's make it input element and it will be p element great now let's create an instance of the mark js so it will go like this mark instance new mark Add event listener to this uh, input element. Event will be key up, and this will be the handler function. One thing I forgot here: we need to provide the context. So basically, whatever the element where you want to perform the search, you need to provide it here. So in this case, it will be a paragraph element. Now we need the search term. So let's get that. Let's make it keyword and it will come from the input element dot value now let me write the code which will do the search that's it now let me explain what is actually happening here first of all we are calling this unmark method on this mark instance to have the text in the previous state or you can say the default state there will be no markings or you can say no highlightings when that is done this function will be called done function and this method will be called mark instance dot mark which will take a keyword depending upon the keyword it will perform the search in the paragraph element and that particular text will get highlighted now just save it and go to the browser to see that in action now let me type a text here for example, I go with this SIT, so you can see there are two matches. If you want to modify this color, uh, the yellow color, you can also do so. Let me go to style sheet and let's make it red color. For that, we need to select the mark element because behind the scene, mark case uses the mark tag to highlight the text. So let's make the background color red and the text color we make white save it 
let's go to the browser you can see so we are getting a red color here you can try with other text for example let's go with l o let's type in to learn more about it you can have a look over the docs so in this doc they will explain how you can do the styling not only that uh, there are some plugins also some configuration details are present these are the options that you can pass to this uh, mark instance so spend some time read the docs there are two methods also regex and ranges that you can explore a bit i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day